Hello all developers, welcome back to all of you once again. My name is Nikhil, all the way from India. Hope you all are doing well. So in this video tutorial, we will learn to create directive in service portal widgets. So before dive into doing all these things, let's understand what is directive. So friend, directives in AngularJS are the predefined or custom attributes and elements, which is designed for this specific purpose. So let's create without wasting our precious time. And friend, widgets here you use is also an AngularJS directive. So under the service portal, you could see this widgets menu. Just open new tab or if you want to open in the same window, you can open. And by clicking this new button, we can create new widget. So let's name it as custom directive and just save it. And after that, if you scroll down below under the related list, you could see this Angular providers. From here, you can create directive. So let's click new button here and say custom directive. And just here, we have to create handler function. And that handler function returns an object. And this handler function will return an object. On the wake of that, I'm going to create one variable obj by initializing empty object. While writing code to return an object, we need to specify some mandatory and useful properties and each property has their own meaning and definition and after that you have to return this object from here just and here you could see it is showing error and this is not the error as soon you create providers factory a service under the dependency here will form open this custom directive and to use this custom directive inside the html te uh, template you have to follow the naming convention like while creating we have named this way which is in camel case but while using you have to follow all these naming conventions which i am going to show you so demo and demo custom does directive okay so this is the first way addition Using colon also, we can use that directive. And the last, we can use using underscore. If you want to show something here to represent data, we can use object dot template property. And inside this, you can write HTML code. The one of the most potent property here is object dot restrict to specify that how you are going to use this directive like whether you want to use it as an directive or an attribute where you specify using this property list and if you want to use uh, for both like directive and attribute both then you have to specify e and a e means element a means attribute okay. and just save it and here let's enable preview and here you can see friend we got the output custom directive custom directive custom directive so there are three ways to use directive okay. to add on if you want to use some custom attributes for this this element then using this object dot scope property you can specify the attribute name like title okay? and here I am going to use at the rate means the value we will pass from here will be the string type so that here I have mentioned at the rate okay this is for the string type okay? to pass a string type value and title okay to title 3 okay. now it's time to use this value here see friend the value we are passing from the directive can be accessible inside the this template okay. here on this directive only we can't access this title outside this directive like if you try to access like this and we can't access okay. and just save it and you could see here this title is not reflecting here because this variable itself is not available okay. and custom directive inside this i am going to use h1 tag and inside this h1 tag i am going to so all the title which is coming through this title attribute let's save it okay see if you want to wrap some element inside this directive okay. like if you want to wrap some element inside uh lorium ipsum anything means you want to show below the title one right three kids for that what you have to do just use one div or an any element and this is out of the box directly that is ng trans Okay, ng transcribe but if i will save this this will not show you because we have not specified the transclude property okay will do true and just save it now you could see okay let's suppose let's suppose friend i want to call the function which is outside this directive means let's suppose we have function here okay let's create a function c dot just just message okay this is a function 
so this function i want to use here and here is one services that is spu sp util dot info message say hello okay and let's close it and we have function name just message okay i want to call this function inside from here okay basically for that for not to call function only for expression just underscore just c okay underscore c so this m percent is used for to access an expression okay and an expression okay so just c is our attribute name so inside this we can pass this c dot just message we can call this okay from here and here if you want to access and let's create one button also okay you and from here i just want to call this function just see okay hope you got the flow save it check it okay, okay. this function just see so friend only for the first directive here we have specified that function c dot just message okay. whenever i'm clicking it is not working so control let's inspect uh, let's open a new tab and see what's the problem uh maybe i have no parent directive that requires run let's leave it and in soul we can see okay so let's click this see friend again it is not working so we have to identify the issue here just see this is same as this but if i remove this just underscore c and here also in the client script in just message okay see this swing the message okay you could see here just say hello but friend that should not be the error if i am using this property in this form just underscore c and here also just underscore c okay just save it got it so while calling the function friend we have to make sure that we are not using this underscore okay okay you can call from everywhere wherever you will require see from everywhere we can call that outer function got it and last thing here we have another property inside scope object we have another way to in, uh, create property and choose here like title see here i am using this paragraph or if you want here to use as an attribute only uh, let's use number okay, number equal to 20 so num for the number and number and object type or area type you have you have to mention here equal to okay, to access access array object and number type of values okay and here i'd like to show just after the title num let's put here a different number 50 and here with 10 and just save it so here you can see okay if you are thinking that we could use here at the rate also yes you can use if you use as an at the rate it's treat that uh, this is a string okay? it's the string value not the numeric value but if you are using array object then in this case you have to use equal to here okay so let's have an example here we have number okay uh, info okay? equal to so here uh, let's info like tool okay service now version me make you visible new york okay so we have this object info okay? to access this here before title i just want to show like a tool info dot tool okay version info dot version see tool service now version new york okay? and if you want to make it bold so friend and here i am teaching this way because you would understand easily and hope you understand how to create directive and what is the use of all this ampersand at the rate equal to character and how to specify element and review what is and how to include a nested element or content inside the directive for that what you have to do you have to use this property transcribe true and wherever you want to use inside the template you have to mention one at a directive called ng transcribe okay? and there are other function like controller okay. as i said earlier your widget is also an angular js directive 
server alert dollar scope so we have to access through this object scope dot data dot server underscore message and just save it and let's see I think I have done something wrong here comment this one. see we can make call from here okay so instead of doing this let's make a call to the server so scope dot server dot update that's it mm, gs dot add info message see message from server it is coming okay equal to 10 because we are directly making a server call from here due to that all the content swing wrong see if you directly do here yes, scope dot server dot update you'll show this like this because it's not a good practice to directly call to the server uh you can call by clicking the button so to you okay like this you can use save it because itself it is showing this message message from server and after that we are calling to this function it is conflicting okay it is uh, in the loop it is going repeatedly scope dot object dot controller we have object dot link function which is same as this link function okay scope element attributes controller everything you can access so thank you for watching hope you have enjoyed watching this video let's meet in our next video tutorial bye friends